decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down i want you to bring them out as god preach right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now satan by the breath of the spirit let god's people go now let god's people go now let god's people go now Bring them out, Shalakatos, ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now, release them now, release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Fill the nations, see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now, be released now. Be released now! Be released now! Melama Shabakas Kobarakosiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft At the count of three You are going to shout the name Jesus And as you shout that name That devil must let you go i like you to be sensitive Koinonia are you ready? My father I pray That by the mystery of this your wisdom Let the bound be free now At the count of three Shout Jesus One, two, three Jesus. 
Jesus. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please, I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick work. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing the name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea. And the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in cycles. It will come, then it will stay. Then help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times. Just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of family in Canada. I'm sure that they are connected right now. And so let's release our faith within a few minutes. We're a family of faith. You don't have to be plagued with that sickness. Terminal diseases of all sorts. And then particularly this devil of cancer. In one minute, I'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, pray. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick. And to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people. I stretch my hands right now. 
in this auditorium and across the airwaves in the name of Jesus anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease cancer all kinds of blood conditions failed organs already left for dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions I cost them right now in Jesus name I cost them right now in Jesus name I cost them right now in Jesus name right now I decree and declare be healed be healed liver be healed kidneys be healed heart be healed blood be cleansed brain tumors be healed prostrate cancer be healed leukemia be healed organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer we reverse stage three cancer in the name of jesus christ and i stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment every pain every discomfort let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them in the name of jesus christ and as i pray for them i'm stirred to pray for restoration because when things happen like this people lose money they lose their joy in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore in the name of jesus christ and we declare that so shall it be to the glory of the name of jesus amen and amen let me ask you to pray one more time mention one area of your life that you are trusting god to visit even tonight go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you don't be silent pray and let the god of wonder surprise you tonight you came to church go ahead and pray one area by faith that you know you are trusting god to come through for you release your faith someone pray I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again as you have declared before the Lord may it be turned to your answer a speedy answer for that in the name of Jesus let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down you see prophetic declarations are very powerful they are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth I have taught you 
what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass are we together yeah so when a prophetic word goes forth the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom and he begins to bring together the human actors why because human beings are beings moral agents with a will are we together so for instance if it is a word of breakthrough the spirit of the living god begins to find available vessels now they have a right to reject him so god can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word the destiny helper can refuse god will honor them but i can tell you out of the eight billion people there are enough people somebody will say yes you now see why the prophetic words are powerful so that declaration comes upon you you can't see it you can't feel it you just receive by faith and say amen but when you say amen your own part is done but it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit the spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately and the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass provided the prophetic word came with god's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith you see that now because the way god designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said it returns to him as proof that the word is finished you see so the moment the word has not returned back it means it is still working there is something it could be difficult in terms of putting together human actors but for sure it will find someone that is the reason to you it will be a series of coincidences a word just came and someone just gave me an employment no someone did not just give you an employment a word came and then i have a baby no you did not just have a baby the moment the word of god comes forth the holy spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of god even through the lips of his servants can i speak over you one more time in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare in this season may god so distinguish your life in this season may my god so distinguish your life your life will serve as an example for many that god lifts men your life will serve as an example for many that the spirit of god can birth glory out of the lives of men receive it in the name of jesus christ amen please be seated god bless you family in canada i'm sure that they are connected right now and so let's release our faith within a few minutes we're a family of faith you don't have to be plagued with that sickness terminal diseases of all sorts and then particularly this devil of cancer in one minute i'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know I, 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 uh, glory be to god I, 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 uh, glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah Pray, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people. I stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves in the name of jesus anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease cancer all kinds of blood conditions failed organs already left for dead by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions i curse them right now in jesus name I curse them right now in Jesus' name. 
I curse them right now in Jesus name right now I decree and declare be healed be healed liver be healed kidneys be healed heart be healed blood be cleansed brain tumors be healed prostrate cancer be healed leukemia be healed organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer we reverse stage three cancer in the name of jesus christ and i stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment every pain every discomfort let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them in the name of jesus christ and as i pray for them i'm still to pray for restoration because when things happen like this people lose money they lose their joy in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore in the name of jesus christ and we declare that so shall it be to the glory of the name of jesus amen and amen let me ask you to pray one more time mention one area of your life that you are trusting god to visit even tonight go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you don't be silent pray and let the god of wonder surprise you tonight you came to church go ahead and pray one area by faith that you know you are trusting god to come through for you release your faith someone pray I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again as you have declared before the Lord may it be turned to your answer. A speedy answer for that. In the name of Jesus. Let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down. You see, prophetic declarations are very powerful. They are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth, I have taught you what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass are we together yeah so when a prophetic word goes forth the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom and he begins to bring together the human actors why because human beings are beings moral agents with a will are we together so for instance 
if it is a word of breakthrough, the spirit of the living God begins to find available vessels. Now, they have a right to reject him. So God can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word. The destiny helper can refuse. God will honor them. But I can tell you out of the 8 billion people, there are enough people. Somebody will say yes. You now see why the prophetic words are powerful. So that declaration comes upon you. You can't see it. You can't feel it. You just receive by faith and say amen. But when you say amen, your own part is done. But it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit. The spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately. And the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass provided the prophetic word came with god's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith you see that now because the way god designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said it returns to him as proof that the word is finished you see so the moment the word has not returned back it means it is still working there is something it could be difficulty in terms of putting together human actors but for sure it will find someone that is the reason to you it will be a series of coincidences a word just came and someone just gave me an employment no someone did not just give you an employment a word came and then i have a baby no you did not just have a baby the moment the word of god comes forth the holy spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of God even through the lips of his servants can I speak over you one more time in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare in this season may God so distinguish your life in this season may my God so distinguish your life your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men your life will serve as an example for many that the spirit of god can birth glory out of the lives of men receive it in the name of jesus christ amen please be seated god bless you i decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down i want you to bring them out as god preached right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now satan by the breath of the spirit let god's people go now let god's people go now let god's people go now Bring them out, shalakatos, ancestral causes, yokes of darkness, spirits of bondage, familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare, release them now, release them now, release them now. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now. Be released now. Be released now! Be released now! Belama Shabakas Kobarakosiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, 
at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. I want you to be sensitive God is doing a quick work is there someone called Gabriel very quickly I want to speak to you and then I'm hearing a name Hosea who is Hosea H-O-S-E-A I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front there is an impartation that is happening who is Hosea your name is Hosea where are you coming from my name is Gabriel sir Gabriel who is Hosea I'm hearing a name Hosea the Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 He returns now Hosea I stretch my hands every demonic thing that has tied your family I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea and the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in circles it will come then it will stay then help them please then it will come back again I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ let it leave the family of Hosea now let it leave the family of Hosea now 
That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times. Just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of people in Canada. I'm sure that they are connected right now. And so let's release our faith within a few minutes. We're a family of faith. You don't have to be plagued with that sickness. Terminal diseases of all sorts. And then particularly this devil of cancer. In one minute, I'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, pray. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people. I stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease, cancer, all kinds of blood conditions, failed organs already left for dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions, I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. Right now I decree and declare, be healed. Be healed, liver, be healed. Kidneys, be healed. Heart, be healed. Blood be cleansed. Brain tumors be healed. Prostrate cancer be healed. Leukemia be healed. Organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now. We reverse stage 4 cancer. We reverse stage 3 cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment, every pain, every discomfort, let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as I pray for them, I'm stirred to pray for restoration. Because when things happen like this, people lose money, they lose their joy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that so shall it be. 
to the glory of the name of Jesus. Amen, amen and amen. Let me ask you to pray one more time. Mention one area of your life that you are trusting God to visit even tonight. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Don't be silent. Pray and let the God of wonder surprise you tonight. You came to church. Go ahead and pray. One area by faith that you know you are trusting God to come through for you. Release your faith. Someone pray. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again, as you have declared before the Lord, may it be turned to your answer. A speedy answer for that in the name of Jesus let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down you see prophetic declarations are very powerful they are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth I have taught you what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass are we together yeah so when a prophetic word goes forth the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom and he begins to bring together the human actors why because human beings are beings moral agents with a will are we together so for instance if it is a word of breakthrough the spirit of the living god begins to find available vessels now they have a right to reject him so god can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word the destiny helper can refuse god will honor them but i can tell you out of the eight billion people there are enough people somebody will say yes you now see why the prophetic words are powerful so that declaration comes upon you you can't see it you can't feel it you just receive by faith and say amen but when you say amen your own part is done but it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit. The spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately. And the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass. Provided the prophetic word came with God's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith. You see that now? Because the way God designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said, it returns to him as proof that the word is finished. You see, so the moment the word has not returned back, it means it is still working. There is something, it could be difficult in terms of putting together human actors, but for sure it will find someone. That is the reason to you, it will be a series of coincidences. A word just came and someone just gave me an employment no someone did not just give you an employment a word came and then I have a baby no you did not just have a baby 
the moment the word of God comes forth, the Holy Spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of God, even through the lips of his servants. Can I speak over you one more time? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare in this season, may God so distinguish your life. In this season, may my God so distinguish your life. Your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men. Your life will serve as an example for many that the Spirit of God can birth glory out of the lives of men. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. your hands to Jesus the son of the living God and just bless him tonight let him know that you are here because you love him let him know that you are here because there is a longing in your heart for more and more and more of him someone express your desperation your hunger and your thirst we desire to know you, we desire to know you, we desire to know you. We desire to know your ways, to access your wisdom. We desire to live for you and to love you all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. John, John chapter 17. And verse 3 says, And this is life eternal, that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. One more time, I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart, that my everything cries for you. Lord, I pray that you give me an encounter tonight. My everything cries for you. Hali shaba sobrande ke balatos, ene meke po shalakra gabe deke tosiata. You are my life, you are my relevance, you are my hope. I build my life and my destiny upon you. I trust you with my life. I trust you with my everything. Give me an encounter tonight. lift me up take me higher let me encounter your presence your spirit afresh for in Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray The next five minutes is a serious time of prayer. Please, no carelessness. Focus on Jesus. Minimize moving up and down. And let's pray. Because I want to speak and release some graces upon your life. I'd like you to pray. Whether you are seated, whether you are standing, whether you are lying on the floor. I just want you to take some time and pray in the spirit in one minute. Go ahead and pray. Shades kabala kata paranda gele kusiata rada bata gede beleke tos. Those who are watching online, make sure you are connecting. If you are alone, pray. Jesus is there. This is a destiny-defining moment. Kate praka te beleke te praska baratos. E praka te bareska pelando shala baratos yata. Shadas kate fresca te berenda ke pras. Ombra kata barakata fras kata belekates ke brende ke te beleketos lika parasa baranda bareka te lekaso zediata krapata kata brete ke beretusiates pray it's a new season for you 
the glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Someone pray. It does not matter that you are coming from that lonely estate. The hand of his majesty lifting you by his spirit, revealing you. You are an effulgence of the glory of the Lord. That through your life, people will learn God afresh. Through your life, they will see the excellency of the power and of the wisdom of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Father, what area of revelation in my life is deficient? Open my eyes to see it. Go ahead and pray. What area? Is it my finances? Is it that I do not understand the dynamics of excelling in my spiritual life? Is it that I do not understand the wisdom of living and exerting dominion over the cosmos? Open my eyes, O God, that I may behold wondrous things. Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. The principles that make for character, the principles in the name of Jesus, the engracing that brings total freedom and liberty over curses, over yokes, over diabolic manifestations. Reveal, reveal by your spirit. Reveal by your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point you are going to pray before I speak over your life. You know the area of needs that you have. That you know when God steps in and it is sorted, it will truly give you the time to sort the king. Some of you maybe is housing. Some of you maybe is sorting out certain material things. The Bible says, ye have not because ye ask not. It says, he that told you have not asked for anything. It says, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. I want you to open your mouth and unashamedly ask God. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Lord, sort this area of my life that I will have the liberty to serve you. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Your marriage, your finances, your children, your basic needs, your family, cry unto the God of heaven. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Shabras katebele katoska prande kebarus esieta ekra tegata bekatos katebele kosh rest round about in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. A businessman is praying in the name of Jesus. A career person is praying. Someone is need who is in need for employment of employment is praying. A man of God is praying. A prophet in the making, an apostle in the making. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let the maker of men make your life, sort your life, bring you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your needs are met, I assure you that you will have the time to serve His Majesty. A lifetime is too long to have your needs met. A lifetime was designed to serve the King, not serve things, not look for things. Looking for things for the rest of your life is an erroneous use of destiny. Hallelujah. What you are about to receive is the engracing that now makes the things that you have learned. It says, now that ye know these things, 
if all I do is to leave you at the point of just discussions and knowledge, then I did not do you much. For every time God speaks, there is an engracing. The assignment of that grace is to rest upon you and to cause the things that you have heard to give you the impetus, the propelling force to move in obedience and to partner with your obedience to make manifest the things that you have believed. That is the assignment of the anointing. The assignment of the grace of God that follows his word is to back to propel you, number one, to obey. And then in obeying, to partner with your obedience now to make manifest the things that you have believed. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Listen, as I speak over you, I want you to shake away that lie that the devil has told you you will never rise. I want you to shake away that demonic belief. Just because you came from the village, shake away that demonic belief. Apostle, I've lived a wayward life. I've lived a scattered life. Do not worry. In his presence, there is room for restoration. But I want to pray for you. I want you to receive from the depth of your heart. I stretch my hands towards you and I decree and declare. I call upon the God who helps men. The one who helps men to rise. The one who helps men to thrive. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to command strange results from tonight. Begin to command strange results from tonight. Strange results from tonight. Extraordinary results from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your passion for the things of God. Your passion for the things of the Spirit. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fire upon your altar. Now hear me. I want you to receive this prayer. I want to pray for you. There are many of you, I'm saying it prophetically. Between now and December, you will stand here to dedicate your own home. I say it by the God who sent me in the name of Jesus Christ. And for some of you, as it is now, you may not even have work to do. But you see, God is ever willing to make his power manifest. I say it again, by his favor, may God start sorting your personal needs. Please hear me. For some of you, while I described the human body, I perhaps call systems that are physically failing in your own body while it was an analogy to explain the kingdom systems for victory for some of you you were just wondering and saying apostle is just calling this thing anything that has entered your body and has vowed to cut short your life I command it must jump out of your body now it must jump out of your body now it must jump out of your systems, out of your organs, now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak over your finances. If you don't need it, you can receive it for someone else. But I want to pray over your finances. There is an advantage we have in addition to our value our wisdom relationships there is the grace of god that engenders favor 
you find that in second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 i like how the bible puts it it says and god is able to make all grace not some grace all grace are bound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency sufficiency means the capacity to always rise to the occasion never disappointing in all things it says may abound to every good work i decree and declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god for someone here regardless the financial mountains that stand before you i call upon my god who is also your god let things begin to change supernaturally open financial doors 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 in the name of jesus christ He says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I decree and declare, whatever makes resources to go out of your hands, whether it's the careless use of them or a demonic manipulation, whatever be the case, I decree and declare, the grace to retain resources, receive it now. Are you ready for favor? I will pray this one today i will pray that the miracle service next week i will continue to pray till you become a living expression of the favor of god let me pray for you what is in favor huh. favor has the ability to accelerate your life and your destiny favor has the supernatural ability to bring to end seasons of hardship seasons of all kinds of things most people have not understood the also passing excellency of carrying the genuine grace for favor and i have told you the proof of favor is not money money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor the proof of favor is when god connects you to the hearts of men that you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs i don't know who that person is but i'm stretching my hands towards you that grace i lay my hands on my own head and i pray by the privilege of the election of grace may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you this grace called favor let it rest upon you let it rest upon you in the city in the country let it rest upon you in the name of jesus christ that you become a living evidence of what god can do with men in the name of jesus christ and by this impartation of favor i call forth whoever has been mandated by god to participate in your rising whether you know them or not i declare this week by the power that raised christ from the dead may they show up in your life may they show up in your life in the name of jesus christ hear me final prayer whatever has refused to move forward you have moved it by your energy you have moved it intellectually you have outsourced men to move it but it has refused to move i stand by the the, the advantage of the prophetic i move you forward i move you forward make constructive progress in the name of jesus christ For in Jesus name we pray you have believed it your eyes will see it your hands will handle it I say it again your eyes will see it and your hands will handle it in Jesus name we pray hallelujah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare that you return next week a sign and a wonder.
this week beginning i declare over your life that every mountain and every challenge that has stood before you every issue of concern that you came here with in the name of jesus that mountain falls like dagon before the earth all those who are traveling to various locations this week we declare your journey is blessed you are blessed in your office you are blessed in the place of assignment your families are blessed our children here in this ministry are blessed in the name of jesus as a nation we confer the blessing of the lord upon this nation and we declare no bad news no evil report in the name of jesus christ no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for me here's the prayer so i submit to his work in me till christ be formed in me no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for me so i submit to his work in me are you ready to pray this second prayer lord the circumcision that must happen to me to be able to host the new that you are bringing that circumcision of the flesh that circumcision in my heart lord let it happen expand me everything that needs to be done in my life to carry these superior levels of grace prosperity wisdom influence access let it happen someone is praying You are a kingdom financier, pray. It is not just give me, give me, give me. Your first prayer is make me. Make me before give me. Don't just pray and say give me billions. No, this version of you will be an ineffective and inefficient steward. Walk upon my heart so that my hands will be faithful. Walk upon my heart so that my bank account will be faithful. Walk upon my heart so that my sermons will be accurate walk upon my heart so that the results will be authentic in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I stretch my hands over you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. I speak to you in the name of Jesus like prophet Eli spoke over Hannah according to the, ah, I'm seeing fire this is what I'm seeing I'm just seeing fire move over people Satan the Lord rebuke you release them now release them now release them now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now I stand in partnership with the Holy Ghost and I declare be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful the Lord gave it as a command we stand as a ministry and enforce it over your life and as I'm praying for these ones anyone in the congregation who is trusting God for the miracle of fruitfulness parus katapakata fire is falling in the name of Jesus I declare be fruitful be fruitful whatever the medical condition is we veto it by the word of God and we declare according to the time of life go and return with your children and for those of you trusting God for twins in the name of Jesus we release twins those of you trusting God for triplets in the name of Jesus we release triplets you will think it's a joke till you stand to dedicate them here so shall it be in the name of Jesus 
there is one of you here i'm seeing a spirit always appears to you and this is something that also happened to your sister they tell you they have visions where wicked spirits appear to them who is that person in the name of jesus i decree and declare every foul devil that will not allow you enjoy your marriage in the name of jesus we declare a separation right now a separation right now if you're healing someone in this nation don't do it without me don't do it without me lord if you're lifting nations in this season don't do it without me your blessing nations in the city wherever you want to go Lord you can go Whoever you want to lift, Lord, you can lift through me. Whatever you want to say, Lord, you can say through me. Whoever you want to change, Father, we hold our hands as a family of faith and we declare that we remain ever available. We thank you for showing us profound mercy. You have singled us out as a people and you have chosen to honor us. Not just the week past, you have invested your honor and your grace upon our lives and Lord, we declare, I declare on behalf of your people that we have chosen to be on the Lord's side. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that you grant unto us as individuals and as a ministry longevity of impact. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray that everything that can become a distraction to our kingdom pursuit, let it be far from us. Lord, I'm praying for someone, I'm praying for a family that may be discouraged right now. Looks like you have not seen a performance of the word of God. You have celebrated as a global family, but individually you are yet to see certain results. I agree with you because you are now determined to be on the Lord's side. May the power that is on the Lord's side work for you. May the wisdom that is on the Lord's side work for you. May the speed that is on the Lord's side work for you. May the immunity that is on the Lord's side work for you. May the restoration that is on the Lord's side work for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This week I declare over your life by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Return with results. This will be a week of strange evidences in your life. Whatever it takes to be fruitful, whatever it takes to be a worthy ambassador, I empower you with it right now in Jesus' name. And I rebuke the hand of Satan over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That by tomorrow, even up until next week, you will return with strange testimonies. I declare protection over you. I declare preservation over you. I command favor upon your life. Your prayer life will never go down. Your word study life will never go down. Supernatural revelation by the Spirit. Let the mantle of honor rest on you. Shame and reproach is far from your life. 
you indeed will show yourself as a people that God has helped. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The week beginning becomes for you a week of miracles, signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, everything you lay your hands to do will prosper. The Lord will lift you above your enemies. You will see his faithfulness at work in your life. I call your week blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm sure that they are connected right now and so let's release our faith within a few minutes we're a family of faith you don't have to be plagued with that sickness terminal diseases of all sorts and then particularly this devil of cancer in one minute I'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know aye, aye, aye. glory be to God I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pray, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people. I stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease, cancer, all kinds of blood conditions failed organs already left for dead by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions i curse them right now in jesus name i curse them right now in jesus name i curse them right now in jesus name right now i decree and declare be healed be healed liver be healed kidneys be healed heart be healed blood be cleansed brain tumors be healed prostrate cancer be healed leukemia be healed organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer we reverse stage three cancer in the name of jesus christ and i stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment every pain every discomfort let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them in the name of jesus christ and as i pray for them i'm stirred to pray for restoration because when things happen like this people lose money they lose their joy in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore in the name of jesus christ and we declare that so shall it be to the glory of the name of jesus amen and amen let me ask you to pray one more time mention one area of your life that you are trusting god to visit even tonight go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you don't be silent 
pray and let the God of wonder surprise you tonight. You came to church. Go ahead and pray. One area by faith that you know you are trusting God to come through for you. Release your faith. Someone pray. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again as you have declared before the Lord may it be turned to your answer. A speedy answer for that. In the name of Jesus. Let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down. You see, prophetic declarations are very powerful. They are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth, I have taught you what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass are we together yeah so when a prophetic word goes forth the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom and he begins to bring together the human actors why because human beings are beings moral agents with a will are we together so for instance if it is a word of breakthrough the spirit of the living god begins to find available vessels now they have a right to reject him so god can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word the destiny helper can refuse god will honor them but i can tell you out of the eight billion people there are enough people somebody will say yes you now see why the prophetic words are powerful so that declaration comes upon you you can't see it you can't feel it you just receive by faith and say amen but when you say amen your own part is done but it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit. The spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately. And the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass. Provided the prophetic word came with God's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith. You see that now? Because the way God designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said, it returns to him as proof that the word is finished. You see, so the moment the word has not returned back, it means it is still working. There is something, it could be difficulty in terms of putting together human actors, but for sure it will find someone. That is the reason to you, it will be a series of coincidences. A word just came and someone just gave me an employment. No, someone did not just give you an employment. A word came and then I have a baby. No, you did not just have a baby. The moment the word of God comes forth, the Holy Spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of God, even through the lips of his servants. Can I speak over you one more time? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare in this season, 
may God so distinguish your life in this season may my God so distinguish your life your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men your life will serve as an example for many that the Spirit of God can birth glory out of the lives of men receive it in the name of Jesus Christ amen please be seated god bless you family in canada i'm sure that you are connected right now and so let's release our faith within a few minutes we're a family of faith you don't have to be plagued with that sickness terminal diseases of all sorts and then particularly this devil of cancer in one minute i'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know aye, 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 aye. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people. I stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease, cancer, all kinds of blood conditions failed organs already left for dead by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions i curse them right now in jesus name i curse them right now in jesus name i curse them right now in jesus name right now, jesus name. Right now i decree and declare be healed be healed liver be healed kidneys be healed heart be healed blood be cleansed brain tumors be healed prostate cancer be healed leukemia be healed organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer we reverse stage three cancer in the name of jesus christ and i stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment every pain every discomfort let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them in the name of jesus christ and as i pray for them i'm stirred to pray for restoration because when things happen like this people lose money they lose their joy in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore in the name of jesus christ and we declare that so shall it be to the glory of the name of jesus amen and amen let me ask you to pray one more time mention one area of your life that you are trusting god to visit even tonight go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you don't be silent Pray and let the God of wonder surprise you tonight. You came to church. Go ahead and pray. One area by faith that you know you are trusting God to come through for you. Release your faith. Someone pray. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ay, 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 ay. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again as you have declared before the Lord, may it be turned to your answer. A speedy answer for that. In the name of Jesus. Let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down. You see, prophetic declarations are very powerful. They are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth, I have taught you, what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word. The assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass. Are we together? Yeah. So when a prophetic word goes forth, the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit, the Holy Spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom. And he begins to bring together the human actors. Why? Because human beings are beings, moral agents with a will. Are we together? So for instance, if it is a word of breakthrough, the spirit of the living God begins to find available vessels. Now they have a right to reject him. So God can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word. The destiny helper can refuse. God will honor them. But I can tell you out of the 8 billion people, there are enough people. Somebody will say yes. You now see why the prophetic words are powerful. So that declaration comes upon you. You can't see it. You can't feel it. You just receive by faith and say amen. But when you say amen, your own part is done. But it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit. The spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately. And the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass provided the prophetic word came with god's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith you see that now because the way god designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said it returns to him as proof that the word is finished you see so the moment the word has not returned back it means it is still working there is something it could be difficult in terms of putting together human actors, but for sure it will find someone. That is the reason to you it will be a series of coincidences. A word just came and someone just gave me an employment. No, someone did not just give you an employment. A word came and then I have a baby. No, you did not just have a baby. The moment the word of God comes forth, the Holy Spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of God even through the lips of his servants can I speak over you one more time in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare in this season may God so distinguish your life in this season may my God so distinguish your life your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men your life will serve as an example for many that the Spirit of God can birth glory out of the lives of men. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. I decree and declare 
every altar that has tied your destiny down i want you to bring them out as god preached right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now satan by the breath of the spirit let god's people go now let god's people go now let god's people go now Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation, and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women, women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life, in the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham, who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now, be released now. Be released now! Be released now! Belama Shabakas Kobarakosiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft At the count of three You are going to shout the name Jesus And as you shout that name That devil must let you go I like you to be sensitive Koinonia are you ready? My father I pray That by the mystery of this your wisdom Let the bound be free now At the count of three Shout Jesus One, two, three Jesus lifted up, exalted, 
exalted till the nations see Jesus. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please, I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick work. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing the name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 He returns now. Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea. And the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in circles. It will come, then it will stay. Then help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody is like a stream. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You are going to sing this song two times. Just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith so that what is happening to you you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them it is as for me and my house me and my house at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus and once you shout that name jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of god to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and i want you to believe it please believe it please believe it 
negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now i break those yokes i break those yokes bring them out i break those yokes by the power of the holy spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered families be delivered Easternans be delivered, Westernans be delivered, Middle Beltans be delivered, Northernans be delivered. Every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny, we declare let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now. Bring them out. I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you the lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of god is coming upon such people i'm seeing the number 11 in the name of jesus wherever you are whether within this auditorium the balcony anywhere across in the name of jesus let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now, chain broken now. hallelujah gift who is gift i just had the name gift g-i-f-t gift your name is gift gift there is a door that is closed and i'm seeing a hand trying to open that door and the lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what i'm hearing father honor your word right now i stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be opened now let that door be opened now let that door be opened now let that door be opened now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of Jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of Jesus may the God of all grace swing those doors open now hallelujah there are three people in the crowd the congregation the lord is telling me that i should pray for you you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number three i don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes is like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted inside of you in jesus name someone is by the pillar i'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone we are one of them the hand of god is upon you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
I'm seeing in a vision the name UN and the Lord is saying someone is going to get a job. UN, United Nations now. You will come and testify here. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus. God who revealed it, may he put it in your hands. I say it again, God who revealed it. I'm seeing UN, the logo of UN, United Nations. May God, no matter where you are, may God use people to connect you to it. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me, this lady. Release this family now. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, for those of you who are in front here, you are delivered now. Please, those who are up, make sure they don't fall down. So if they are under the anointing, just guide them. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered now. You are delivered forever. In Jesus' name. 13 years, no promotion. One, three, 13 years, you've not been promoted. The Lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years, you've not been promoted. And the Lord is saying, I should speak to you. I want to speak to you by the Spirit. Listen, when you hear prophetic words come like this, don't downplay them. A lot happens in the realm of the Spirit when a word is released. Are we together now? There are angels that excel in strength. And their assignment is to see to it. That's why you see people come to testify. And they will tell you this one happened. This one happened. Don't be an unbeliever. 13 years you have not been promoted. I want to pray for you. Father, look upon whoever this person is. Is this a lady? This is not the person I'm seeing. But I will still pray for you. In the name of Jesus, 13 years, no promotion. Father, honor your word. For this individual, using this one in front as a point of contact, I decree and declare that not only will you be promoted, may God restore you. May God restore you. May God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God restore you. I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. Your valley be filled. <laughs> Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your turn, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your turn. I take a I take it back to your turn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance, you didn't know, and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using, for some of you, based on what you have said, you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words. I stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of Jesus, I cancel every word speaking against you. I cancel every word speaking against you. For the Bible says, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And he said, every tongue that arises, please hear me. No matter who has said what against you, 
maybe growing up, maybe his parents, sincere people, but what they have said is being used by the devil. It has become a, a negative rain-making process. By the power of the prophetic, I cancel it now. Where they said you will fall, I prophesy, stand. Where they said you will not rise, I speak, fly, not only rise, in the name of Jesus. Where they say you will not find helpers, you will even have to choose who to help you. Where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire, you will lose your relevance, you will lose your bishopric, you will lose your lampstand. I prophesy, 30 years from now, if Christ tarries, you will still be standing. Final prophetic word. Anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement, Ichabod, has been roaming around your head. That means you are good for nothing. That means the glory has departed. That means everybody who sees you, they should treat you like an outcast. In the name of Jesus, I roll away that negative word. I say it again. For someone who has been trusting God for rain, your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come. I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain. May your rain begin to fall. Those of you in ministry, I announce to you this is your season of exploits. No power in existence will downplay and demean the anointing upon your life. Those of you who are diplomats and captains of industry, we clear the way for your relevance. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are businessmen here, and it looks like there is an embargo on your business. You have tried, but it looks like you are not rising. If you believe this prophetic word, I declare that between now and the end of October, not November, October, in the name of Jesus, receive strange help from God. And for everyone here who is in need of restoration, between now and the miracle service, may God do something that has not been done in your life since the beginning of this year. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Wave your hands to Jesus. A wave offering is a mystery in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We receive this by faith. Hallelujah. Speak to me. Speak to me. I'm ready to obey. Speak to me. Let your word supply grace. Reveal the strategy. Pray. Show me the key to the next level of breakthrough. To the next level of influence, to the next level of encounter, to the next level of the anointing. <laughs> Let's 
through vision, through the written word, through prophetic direction, instructions will come in message as you walk. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number three. I want you to pray this with all your heart. Cry for a fresh supply of grace for prompt and complete obedience. Some of you, God has given you instructions. There are seeds to sow. There are places to go. There are tapes to listen to. There are encounters. There are retreats to have. You have not obeyed, so you will never see His glory. Lift your voice and cry. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace. I Hallelujah. Watch this. It is after you obey that you can now begin to confess. And then you can now sow a seed and tie a seed to it. Except if the sowing of the seed is the instruction. Or that if I'm believing God say for a house. And I find out. God gives me an instruction. Go and get an architectural design and see the kind of house you want. That's an instruction. Don't sit down and start giving foolish arguments. Now I go and I say Lord I found what I want. God will say go and estimate how much will it cost? Now you, co- you estimate and you say it will cost 15 million. <laughs> you are sitting down. All you have home and abroad is 500 naira. Forget about it. And if, look, the blessing is in the instruction. It's not in what you have. Whether, you, you, whether it is 1,000 or 1 billion, it is still faith that will bring it. Hallelujah. And now you begin to pray. And while you pray, God will say, relax. He said, don't worry. Just relax. It will come as a seed. You have had the word. You stand still. And you begin to prophesy. Or God will say, now go and sow a seed for it. Or you want to get married, for instance. And, and, and you are praying and you are thanking God. You are saying, Lord, thank you for this. And then you find out God gives you an instruction in the place of prayer. Maybe go and wash the plate. Go to one woman who is already married. He may even be your friend. He said, just go on a Saturday and help them sweep and wash their plate. That's the instruction. If you are too ashamed to do it, forget about marriage. It may be crazy, but go and do it. After you have done that, then you can now begin to prophesy. And you can now connect with a seed. And say, Lord, I sow a seed into this. And I speak. My marriage is coming. The man that God is bringing, like our sister said, is a blessed man. He's a godly man. Your obedience is complete. Something is wrong with your family. Your husband or your wife is misbehaving. And all of that. You don't sit there and say, me and you will enter the same trouser. What has entering the same trouser got to do with, with the solution? You don't need to enter the same trouser. You need a word from God. All these stupid cultural things that we put, we must enter the same trouser. And do what? Is it going to solve the problem? Get a word from God. Where you are confused, come for counsel. This is the situation. What do you think? What is the, what is the scriptural mystery? What is the principle? That is responsible for the delivery of this. Right? That's why we pray. That's why we come here all the time. We are dispensing mysteries. As these mysteries are dispensed. It's falling on different people. You catch it and you walk with it. It has changed the lives of people from nothing. It has taken people to wherever they will go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Very fearful and touching testimony. A gentleman 
listen to my message. He's been following my teachings and he's been listening to my messages and they're trusting God. He's a real estate person. He's trusting God for breakthroughs and all of that. And then a miracle just happened to him. Within a short time, they gave him 60 hectares of land to develop and sell. His profit from that is 300 million. He's a young man like me. The word. As if that will finish, when I, when I got to Abuja, he made sure, every time I go to Abuja, he makes sure he's the one driving me around. He said, I must drive you. The last time I went, he said they gave him another 40 hectares, making 100 hectares. What is it that God cannot do? Your obedience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your obedience. Your obedience. Your obedience. I hear a lot of testimonies. Testimonies. You were, I think many of us have, have we've heard about the testimony of the woman who for eight years was barren, Selena's auntie or so. And this woman supernaturally, by acting the word of God, had triplets. They are all alive today. Triplets to recover for the eight years. What is it that God cannot? Don't come, we say, write prayer requests. It's when you are here that you just scrabble in what is even your own. You are just playing games with God. That's why very few people get testimonies. Change your attitude from today. Let it not be Friday by five. You say, it's time for koinonia. Be intentional about it. There are people who come in for miracle service. We all fast on Thursdays. But on Friday, they, they prepare when I'm coming for koinonia, it's as if, do you know, you see me sit down sometimes here. My body is shaking. I'm just waiting for worship to finish. Testimonies, when people are shouting, you see, there's answer. I want to just dispense what God has brought. But there are people who just sit down. You bring a teaspoon and you want, you want to have an ocean of blessings. Enlarge your capacity. Let's pray one more prayer point before we round up. Hold up the hand of your neighbor. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this is the season where you are changing his level, changing her level. Go ahead and prophesy. Prophesy. How great you are. How great you are. Oh, your level must change. How great you are. Koinonia, it's time for a new season. It's the season of the rain. Don't be a spectator. My financial level must change. My spiritual life must change. My influence must change. The grace of God upon my life must move higher. I'm ready to obey. How great you are. Oh, 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 how great you are! Hey, how great you are! How great you are! How great you are! Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake your hands and let me prophesy over your life there is see for koinonia god is shifting us i know it i feel it god is shifting us you can choose to believe it you can sit down there and let other people just through the tapes or you can connect to the anointing and say this is my season i place a demand on everything that is at work in this house Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Let the spirit of faith, the capacity to obey God without reservation, the meekness, the childlikeness to obey God, let it be released upon your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that as a result of this teaching tonight, let there be a rain of testimonies. Let there be miracles upon miracles upon miracles. Financial miracles. Miracles of multiplied graces. 
miracles of marriages miracles of breakthroughs miracles of favor miracles of lifting in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that the influence of the kingdom comes upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you will begin to command influence across your territory by the mystery of the oil of gladness let it take you above your fellows hallelujah I pray in the name of Jesus that the mantle of honor that which makes men is there and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren I pray for you in the name of Jesus that beginning from tonight everywhere you go you will find men who will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ you will find men who will honor you I pray for everything that is dead or dying in this place I don't care what it is by the same power that raised Christ from the dead I speak to everything that is dead in your life I command it tonight come back to life dead academic situations come back to life now dead financial situations come back to life now dead family situations come back to life now hear me whatever has covered your glory and has stopped men from seeing the hand of God I tear that veil into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has stopped men from favoring you they used to bless you but something happened mysteriously the same people are still around but the blessings have stopped I connect you by faith to that flow of the blessing in the name of Jesus Christ it's a season where you must bear fruit I prophesy upon you be fruitful be fruitful multiply in the name of Jesus replenish I command that you subdue every force of darkness and every force of witchcraft and every cause and every enchantment and I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus have dominion everywhere you go let there be an anointing upon you anyone that comes under the jurisdiction of your influence I compel them to bless you I compel them to honor you in the name that is above all names I command that a book of remembrance Makato Toto Balakata like Mordecai whoever has done good and your, 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 your reward has not come tonight as you sleep in the heavenlies let the book of remembrance be open may my God use strangers to bless you may he use strangers to bring your business back to life may my God bring strangers to bless your family and I pray for you greater levels of the anointing you belong to a ministry that works in an ever increasing anointing may that be at work in your life I command that the level you are in the anointing you have lingered there for too long step up to a new level step up to a new level a new level of the healing anointing a new level of the anointing of prophecy a new level of the gifts of the spirit in the name of Jesus I release this power from here on stage upon this altar I prophesy it let it touch you and let it change you in the name of Jesus Lord your people must bear results I command you be fruitful I command it be fruitful students be fruitful workers be fruitful in the name of Jesus businessmen be fruitful everything that has refused to work I invoke the laws of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I command in a miraculous way let things begin to work whoever needs to call you this week whoever needs to connect you whoever needs to come to your business whoever needs to give you a job I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus 
may my father bring them to you in Canada I'm sure that they are connected right now and so let's release our faith within a few minutes we're a family of faith you don't have to be plagued with that sickness terminal diseases of all sorts and then particularly this devil of cancer in one minute I'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know I, 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 I. glory be to God I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, pray, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people. I stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease, cancer, all kinds of blood conditions, failed organs, already left for dead. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions, I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. Right now I decree and declare, be healed. Be healed liver be healed kidneys be healed heart be healed blood be cleansed brain tumors be healed prostrate cancer be healed leukemia be healed organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer we reverse stage three cancer in the name of jesus christ and i stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment every pain every discomfort let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them in the name of jesus christ and as i pray for them i'm still to pray for restoration because when things happen like this people lose money they lose their joy in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore in the name of jesus christ and we declare that so shall it be to the glory of the name of jesus amen and amen let me ask you to pray one more time mention one area of your life that you are trusting god to visit even tonight go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you don't be silent pray and let the god of wonder surprise you tonight you came to church go ahead and pray one area by faith that you know you are trusting god to come through for you release your faith someone pray I, 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 glory be to god I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to 
mighty name we have prayed as you have declared in the name of Jesus let it be turned to your answer I say it again as you have declared before the Lord may it be turned to your answer a speedy answer for that in the name of Jesus let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down you see prophetic declarations are very powerful they are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth. I have taught you what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word. The assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass. Are we together? Yeah. So when a prophetic word goes forth, the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit, the Holy Spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom. And he begins to bring together the human actors. Why? Because human beings are beings, moral agents with a will. Are we together? So for instance, if it is a word of breakthrough, the spirit of the living God begins to find available vessels. Now they have a right to reject him. So God can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word. The destiny helper can refuse. God will honor them. But I can tell you out of the 8 billion people, there are enough people. Somebody will say yes. You now see why the prophetic words are powerful. So that declaration comes upon you. You can't see it. You can't feel it. You just receive by faith and say amen. But when you say amen, your own part is done. But it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit. The spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately. And the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass provided the prophetic word came with God's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith you see that now because the way God designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said it returns to him as proof that the word is finished you see so the moment the word has not returned back it means it is still working there is something it could be difficulty in terms of putting together human actors, but for sure it will find someone. That is the reason to you it will be a series of coincidences. A word just came and someone just gave me an employment. No, someone did not just give you an employment. A word came and then I have a baby. No, you did not just have a baby. The moment the word of God comes forth, the Holy Spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of God even through the lips of his servants can I speak over you one more time in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare in this season may God so distinguish your life in this season may my God so distinguish your life your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men your life will serve as an example for many that the Spirit of God can birth glory out of the lives of men. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. Family in Canada, I'm sure that they are connected right now. And so let's release our faith within a few minutes. We're a family of faith. You don't have to be plagued with that sickness, terminal diseases of all sorts, and then particularly this devil of cancer in one minute I'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know I, 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 glory be to God I, 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 glory be to God hallelujah hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah hallelujah Pray, 
name of Jesus Christ you have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people I stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves in the name of Jesus anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease cancer all kinds of blood conditions, failed organs, already left for dead, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions, I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. Right now I decree and declare, be healed, be healed, liver be healed kidneys be healed heart be healed blood be cleansed brain tumors be healed prostrate cancer be healed leukemia be healed organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer we reverse stage three cancer in the name of jesus christ and i stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment every pain every discomfort let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them in the name of jesus christ and as i pray for them i'm stirred to pray for restoration because when things happen like this people lose money they lose their joy in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore let the restorer restore in the name of jesus christ and we declare that so shall it be to the glory of the name of jesus amen and amen let me ask you to pray one more time mention one area of your life that you are trusting god to visit even tonight go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you don't be silent pray and let the god of wonder surprise you tonight you came to church go ahead and pray one area by faith that you know you are trusting god to come through for you release your faith someone pray I, 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 glory be to god I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again as you have declared before the Lord, may it be turned to your answer. A speedy answer for that. In the name of Jesus. 
let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down you see prophetic declarations are very powerful they are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth i have taught you what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass are we together yeah so when a prophetic word goes forth the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom and he begins to bring together the human actors why because human beings are beings moral agents with a will are we together so for instance if it is a word of breakthrough the spirit of the living god begins to find available vessels now they have a right to reject him so god can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word the destiny helper can refuse god will honor them but i can tell you out of the eight billion people there are enough people somebody will say yes You now see why the prophetic words are powerful. So that declaration comes upon you. You can't see it. You can't feel it. You just receive by faith and say amen. But when you say amen, your own part is done. But it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit. The spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately. And the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass provided the prophetic word came with god's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith you see that now because the way god designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said it returns to him as proof that the word is finished you see so the moment the word has not returned back it means it is still working there is something it could be difficulty in terms of putting together human actors but for sure it will find someone that is the reason to you it will be a series of coincidences a word just came and someone just gave me an employment no someone did not just give you an employment a word came and then i have a baby no you did not just have a baby the moment the word of god comes forth the holy spirit has the unique ministry of confirming the speakings of God even through the lips of his servants can I speak over you one more time in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare in this season may God so distinguish your life in this season may my God so distinguish your life your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men your life will serve as an example for many that the Spirit of God can birth glory out of the lives of men. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down. I want you to bring them out. As God preach right now, some of you, a physical wind will blow towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every ordinance of darkness must give way now. Satan, by the breath of the Spirit, let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus.
Jesus, lift it up. The Lord is showing me. I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women. Women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now! Be released now! Be released now! Be released now! Elama shabakas kobarakosiata, egra kapas kalika paruziata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My Father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One. Two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Ah. Be released. Exalted. Exalted. I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick work. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing a name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. It returns now. It returns. 
returns now. He returns now. He returns now. He returns now. He returns now. Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea. And the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in cycles. It will come, then it will stay. Then help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times, just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of the Father. In the name of Jesus, I open up my heart and I open up my spirit. To receive the impartation that positions me to manifest this kingdom authority even within this end time I want to be an effective battle axe I want to be an effective believer not just one who comes to receive in church but one who one who becomes an extension of that power go ahead and pray once upon a time the disciples could not cast out spirits once upon a time the disciples could not pray for the sick once upon a time they could not enjoy and experience the blessings of the Lord but something came upon them go ahead and pray take a minute to pray ladies and gentlemen a global family connecting from across the globe this is what God wants to do in this season dominion over unclean spirits bringing liberty to men ministering the spirit releasing families releasing captives dominion over sicknesses diseases infirmity death dominion over economic financial limitations that have plagued the body of Christ. Someone pray. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey. Pray.
Hallelujah. Please look up. Is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority over unclean spirits? Yes. Do you have to be a man of God to access that privilege? In terms of ministry? No. In terms of knowing God? Yes. Can you have authority over sickness, disease, untimely death? Yes, sir. Is there a grace that can enhance that reality? Yes, sir. Can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you? Yes, sir. Is there a grace that controls that possibility? Yes, sir. Can men receive it? Yes. Can it be made manifest here and now? Yes, sir. I'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive. So open up your spirit as I pray for you. And then we wrap up the service. Father, you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of Christ. That there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding. And then to access the requisite grace. I'm praying right now for a man of God here. I'm praying right now for a businessman here. I'm praying for a prophet, an apostle, an evangelist, a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of Christ. I decree and declare authority over unclean spirits. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. That from tonight in the name of Jesus, you will not have to bring them to Joshua Selman. That you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, in the name of Jesus, I first pray for you. The sickness that will kill you, may it never come near your body. The sickness that will deteriorate your organs, may it never come near your destiny. And if there is anyone under the sound of my voice, who is having any planting in their body that is not by my God, I command it to jump out of your life. With these anointed hands, may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, and finally for tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, the grace that quickens your mind, then quickens your hand, then draws men to you, to make for supplies in your life. In the name of Jesus, I place that grace on your head. I place that grace on your head. I speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you, that is not giving you peace, you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met. This week, I stand by the prophetic and the apostolic. May my God raise strange help for you. May my God raise strange help for you. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Anyone here who may have lost in business, you've lost money, you've lost clients, you've lost opportunity, in the name of Jesus, I place a grace on you. Go back and excel. For the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom, go back and excel. And there are many of you here, while you sleep in the night, the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. 
nobody under the sound of my voice will die before their time nobody under the sound of my voice will have to live their life begging for tea and bread every family here that is going through any kind of limitation in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I am praying let my God arise and help you and finally any human agent who has been ordained by God to help you and support you as you rise they may have forgotten you they may have been ill advised against you but I'm praying this week may my God use them to bring his word to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ therefore my dear people walk in this consciousness don't just share the grace and leave walk in this consciousness that I am anointed walk in this consciousness that I am God's battle axe walk in this consciousness that many destinies depend on me walk in this consciousness that I have received something that I must put to work and as you do that you will see the God of wonder surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ keep standing everyone let me make the altar call I always make the altar call every week why because I love Jesus number two because I love the people who he is bringing forth to make their ways right with him number three because it is the first of the Great Commission we have been mandated to see to it that the lost come to the fold you are in this place tonight you came to church and whilst you heard me speak the Spirit of God began to speak to you that it is time to make your ways right with God perhaps you are making this decision for the first time it does not matter or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus you are saying apostle I do not want to leave this place without making my ways right with Jesus there's no point cajoling you know by the Spirit that he's been speaking to you I'm going to count one to five whether you are up the balcony scattered across the congregation all the overflows or perhaps someone who is following online or by way of television wherever you are as I count one to five very boldly without shame without intimidation this is a family that loves you leave your seat and I want you to come and stand here as I count five thank God for my beautiful sister one leave your seat and come quickly let's celebrate them as they come Koinonia is this the best you can do Jesus is calling many to himself Two. leave your friends leave whoever you came to church with this is a personal affair between you and your dear Savior come come three if you're coming please run to Jesus apostle you don't know how I've lived my life will Jesus accept me with all joy and pleasure come I want to start afresh again apostle can I join them yes please join them I'm not even sure if I'm saved I just know that I love Jesus and I go to church join them you can have something called the assurance of salvation God bless you come 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 hallelujah believers learn that it is a glorious thing every time people come to Jesus no man has the power to make another man leave his seat and come and stand here human beings are not dummies all these people standing are adults some of them are crying it takes the spirit of the living God through the frailty of our words he penetrates the hearts of the people and prepares them to receive salvation my brothers and my sisters thank you for not denying Jesus thank you for the boldness to make that decision it doesn't matter what you have done or not done doesn't matter how your life has been before now he can give you a new beginning may I please request that you lift your right hand and that includes those in all the overflows includes those who are making this decision online please join us I lead God's people in this prayer say after me as loud as you can dear Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again 
for my justification right now I receive you into my heart as my Lord my Savior and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb I go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these beloved people they have come declaring your lordship over their lives i stretch my hands over you and i declare indeed that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life in the name of jesus christ i declare that from today you walk in the newness of life forward ever and backward never in Jesus mighty and matchless name we pray a big congratulations please the counselors are waving their hands at you my right that will be towards your left let's celebrate them as they follow the counselors they will have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat congratulations let's give them a big God bless you family in Canada I'm sure that they are connected right now and so let's release our faith within a few minutes where a family of faith you don't have to be plagued with that sickness terminal diseases of all sorts and then particularly this devil of cancer in one minute i'd like you to pray for yourself or for everyone you know I, 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 uh, glory be to god I, 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 uh, Glory be to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, pray, glory be to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have granted us your grace and your power to heal the sick and to rewrite the stories in the lives of your people i stretch my hands right now in this auditorium and across the airwaves in the name of jesus anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of terminal disease cancer all kinds of blood conditions failed organs already left for dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree this moment that the spirit influences behind those conditions, I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. Right now I decree and declare, be healed. Be healed, liver, be healed. Kidneys, be healed heart be healed blood be cleansed brain tumors be healed prostrate cancer be healed leukemia be healed organ failures of any and all sorts may they jack back to life now we reverse stage four cancer. We reverse stage three cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I stretch both my hands and decree and declare that this moment, every pain, every discomfort, let it give way as a sign that the healing power has rested upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as I pray for them, I'm still to pray for restoration. Because when things happen like this, people lose money, they lose their joy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. Let the restorer restore. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that so shall it be. To the glory of the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let me ask you to pray one more time. 
mention one area of your life that you are trusting God to visit even tonight go ahead I'm releasing my faith with you don't be silent pray and let the God of wonder surprise you tonight you came to church go ahead and pray one area by faith that you know you are trusting God to come through for you release your faith someone pray I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Are you praying? I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, glory be to God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. As you have declared in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your answer. I say it again, as you have declared before the Lord, may it be turned to your answer. A speedy answer for that Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. let me just tell you a word or two and then you sit down you see prophetic declarations are very powerful they are powerful because every time a prophetic word that is truly backed by the anointing is sent forth I have taught you what happens is that the spirit of wisdom follows that word the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to arrange the human actors that will make that word come to pass are we together yeah so when a prophetic word goes forth the dynamics of its operation is that in the realm of the spirit the holy spirit manifests over that word as the spirit of wisdom and he begins to bring together the human actors why because human beings are beings moral agents with a will are we together so for instance if it is a word of breakthrough the spirit of the living god begins to find available vessels now they have a right to reject him so god can prompt it in the heart of a destiny helper to help you in line with that word the destiny helper can refuse god will honor them but i can tell you out of the eight billion people there are enough people somebody will say yes you now see why the prophetic words are powerful so that declaration comes upon you you can't see it you can't feel it you just receive by faith and say amen but when you say amen your own part is done but it's important for you to know what happens in the realm of the spirit the spirit of wisdom kicks into motion immediately and the assignment of the spirit of wisdom is to bring together all the human actors that must make that word come to pass provided the prophetic word came with God's backing and it was received upon a heart that was full of faith you see that now because the way God designed it is that the moment his word accomplishes what he has said it returns to him as proof that the word is finished you see so the moment the word has not returned back it means it is still working there is something it could be difficulty in terms of putting together human actors but for sure it will find someone that is the reason to you it will be a series of coincidences a word just came and someone just gave me an employment no someone did not just give you an employment a word came and then i have a baby no you did not just have a baby the moment the word of god comes forth the holy spirit has the unique ministry 
of confirming the speakings of God even through the lips of his servants can I speak over you one more time in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare in this season may God so distinguish your life in this season may my God so distinguish your life your life will serve as an example for many that God lifts men your life will serve as an example for many that the Spirit of God can birth glory out of the lives of men. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you.